to find themselves at a standstill in Greece and doing their party pieces, the talented residents of Green Court Drive in Bognor Regis. That's Meridian Tonight, live at 6. This is Meridian Tonight. I'm Jane Wyatt. And I'm Andy Stegall. These are the headlines. The mother of a five-year-old meningitis victim calls for a premium rate advice line to be scrapped. It's a, an underhand way of um, attempting to make quite a lot of money out of people's genuine worries and fears about meningitis. From one blockade to another, now the South's lorry drivers are trapped in Greece. The village nobody wanted, why they aren't lording it up in Maidhurst. And take your seat for a trip down the South's street of fame. The early hours, looks like winter, winter it really is officially here. Plus, <laughs> they're doing their party pieces down Greencourt Drive in Bognor Regis for this week's visit to the street. And left without a lord, the village that nobody wants. Welcome back. Time now to meet a talented bunch of indiv in <laughs> individuals, and I don't mean us, obviously. The people who live in a suburban street at a seaside resort in Sussex. On one side of the road lives a famous film animator, on the other side an entertainer who made his living for many years by balancing chairs on his head. Michael Vesti has been to meet the residents of Green Court Drive in Bognor Regis in the latest of our series, The Street. It might be any street in any town in southern England, and on the face of it, it is. But here, behind the lace curtains in Green Court Drive, Bognor Regis, live fine examples of that British species, the character. Mike Jupp, the brilliant film animator, grew up here, but many of his neighbours escaped from London for a bit of peace and quiet on the south coast. But if you're a cartoonist, there is no finer place on the earth than Bognor Regis. During the summer, I mean, it's a freak show. Uh, no disrespect to the locals, they're all wonderful, but it's a great place for a, for a cartoonist to live. I can understand why Donald McGill spent his time doing fat ladies, uh, I rephrase that, um, drawing fat ladies and the archetypal English seaside character. Despite spending years in California, Mike prefers Greencourt Drive, drawing inspiration from the locals for his cartoons. In his upstairs studio at number 32, he creates TV series like The Dreamstone, which daughter Eleanor loves. Right across the road, we have uh, Bogner's answer to Edward Challenger. <laughs> Comes home, gets into his phone box, whips off his clothes, and there he is as Professor Edward Challenger. Jeff Busbridge, an amateur archaeologist, the demon digger of Bognor. We'd found a very early and very poor graveyard. There was nothing buried with the skeletons, just the skeletons. And um, everybody was finding one until towards the end of the dig, I found one. I, I came across the shin bones first because a pit had dug the feet off. It's time for Jeff to try out his latest lecture on wife Margaret. And they've also produced... But it's not really an axe at all. It has been called the Swiss Army Knife of the Stone Age because it's an all-purpose tool. She doesn't allow Jeff to dig the garden. Yes, I'm sure he's convinced we're all living on ancient graves and all this type of thing. Two doors away from him, we have Johnny Pierce, a great name in showbiz 20 or 30 years ago, who's worked with all the big names. When you've got the Odega, very sharp, and you go up and the light says, blinding you and of course it came down and it stuck stuck in my cheek and the blood was spurting out my yellow blouse was covered in blood and I was I wonder what I'm gonna do now you know what do you want me to do here I am carry on in his heyday John would balance anything he could find sometimes up to eight chairs now 72 he keeps in practice with the odd chair but you wouldn't expect someone to be making their own dolls and dolls' clothes. Making dolls' clothes one thing, making the dolls themselves. Uh, and we have this lady, Zena. My customers who, who come to have their outfits made would see the dolls and then 
mothers, uh, you know, when I have a bride, the mothers would generally see that, and then they would ask me to copy the, the, the daughter's wedding dress and make a doll as well as um, a keepsake for their daughters. She and her husband Plato are Greek Cypriots who moved here from London ten years ago. Does she think the residents of Green Court Drive are eccentrics? I can imagine who said that, but, well, none of us stand on our heads when we go outside and none of us hang from the lamppost, so I don't think we're that bad. But they're all geniuses in their own, or genii in their own way, and they they have their secrets, and the secrets are what they produce. <laughs> Michael Vesti and Bogner Regis for Meridian Tonight. They're a very talented bunch, aren't they? Indeed, well, here, indeed. well here's another class act.